You're watching News 24 Live. It's Monday, the 16th of February, and we are about to give you a sports wrap from the weekend. I'm joined in studio by Chief Writer Rob Howing from Sport 24 to discuss the first weekend of the Cricket World Cup and, of course, Super Rugby. Rob, good morning. Hello, Nick. Um, let's start with the rugby before we get on to the big one. Um, but yeah, first weekend of Super Rugby, we were saying earlier, our Super Brew picks, <laughs> Super Brew was a, was a dog show this weekend. I got three out of seven. Huge weekend of upsets and surprises, uh, I guess, setting the, the tone for what we can expect. Um, although we do know that this is a very unpredictable tournament. Yeah, absolutely. You did better than me, by the way. You got, if you got three out of seven, mm -hmm. I got two. So uh, not, not the greatest start. Uh, I mean, I think there were some results that went uh, utterly beyond expectation. Mm -hmm. um, and the trend was set pretty quickly when the Crusaders lost uh, at home to the mm -hmm. Rebels. Uh, normally sort of whipping boys. A lot of people would have probably had the Crusaders winning by, what, 20 to 30 points even. And instead, they were incredibly listless. It almost looked like an end-of-season game mm -hmm. for them rather than um, you know, one of those sort of academic end-of-season games. No urgency, mm -hmm. no zest. And it seemed to translate to all the major sides. Um, you know, Sharks, another heavily fancied team in, in mm -hmm. the South African conference. Although we do know that the, the Cheetahs is their sort of iffy bogey side. I know, and that, and that bogey did come back mm -hmm. again. You know, you, you felt in recent years they'd begun to just sort of uh, uh, alleviate that a little bit. But uh, it seems to be sort of resurfacing. Let's not forget that the Cheetahs also mm -hmm. beat the Sharks in a vital game at the end of league play um, last season, yeah. which counted against the Sharks getting a home semi-final in the end, which was very costly, as, as we we know, as we saw. Mm. So uh, again, at the weekend, another a real back foot situation for the Sharks. The only consolation was that they did bank a losing bonus point. So that's mm. that's something um, to to uh, you know grasp onto. And let's let's also remember that Marcel Kutsia came within an, a fraction of uh, of scoring mm. the what might well have been a, a winning try, although the ball just mm. sort of squirted out uh, onto his elbow uh, as he yeah. as he wriggled over the line. Um, I don't think there was much doubt that the correct call was made um, and in fact the Cheetahs might have been diddled if, uh, if it had gone against mm. them because they, they really put up a, um, an incredibly spirited performance. Mm. And then uh, of course Stormers Bulls, uh, Bulls sort of heavily fancied for that one at Loftus. Stormers a young side um, but they, they were very impressive eh? and, yeah. and playing quite an exciting sort of brand of rugby too. Yeah, uh, look I, I tipped that game to be close. I think I went uh, Bulls by two points. Um, just because I thought on paper, especially after they'd uh, you know, looked pretty impressive pre-season, um, the Bulls, and uh, some good names sort of filtering back into their ranks, mm. and I really thought that they would be, be up for it in their first game. Uh, instead, the Stormers gave them a, a mighty sort of physical lesson, yeah. really. Uh, they knocked them backwards. A, a, few, a few egos were bruised, especially in the pack, I mm. thought, uh, from, a, from a Bulls perspective. And another reason I'd gone against the Stormers was because I thought that they'd got quite a hodgepodge back three with this uh, debutant Johnny Kotzer coming in on the right wing. Mm -hmm. Dylan Lades, Lades more of a sort of a fullback than a wing, having to play on the wing, although I thought he did pretty well. Um, and Cheslin Colby, the most experienced uh, member of that, of that back three. And then in the pack, of course, their two supposed first choice locks, uh, Manny Carrizza and Ibn mm -hmm. were out injured. And I thought, well, then, you know, there's this. Uh, they're vulnerable, um, mm. and yet uh, look look how these youngsters kept filtering in. And even when they kept bringing youngsters off the bench, yeah. even greener players than the ones they were yeah. replacing, well, uh, they um, kept um, the that momentum form, going. Former Bulls guy was made quite an impact. The hooker, yes, um, and yeah, that must have been quite um, a and Bonambi, He Bonambi. looked very fired up. So uh, that must um, be quite an occasion for him too. Yeah, I mean uh, that turnover that he got uh, from mm. uh, very close to his own posts, I and mean, you could see how much it meant to him, and how much it actually galvanised all the other guys Absolutely. around him. Dwayne mm. Vermeulen made special reference to it afterwards. On that on that note, I thought he he was terrific. Mm. Uh, really did sort of lead by example. They always said that Dwayne was going to be that would be his style of leadership. Um, you know, you, you mm. follow me, guys. Uh, the way I play, and of course he was he was terrific. One of relatively few established box I thought to to really stick their hands up and play really well at the weekend. So a little bit a few concerns. Uh, um, you know, mm. ahead of World Cup, but of course that still nuts up the drag. Mm. And of course, uh, to, to round things off, the force upsetting the defending champions in Sydney. That was the one pick I wasn't really confident about. I went for the Waratahs. There we go. Yeah, I, yeah. I went very clear cut to Waratahs. I really thought the defending champions would would knock over the force, but the force obviously galvanised by what the bloodbath that was going on everywhere else in the competition, mm. thinking if others can do it, why can't we? Mm. Um, and uh, in in the end, winning with a little bit to spare. So the Waratahs also had their their wake up call. Um, mm. So it does set the tone for a very interesting uh, a very interesting competition because suddenly it looks uh, already a little bit sort of more wide open than than we might have expected. Yeah.